Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good looking friends. So a couple days ago, I did a video about Harlem and I commented in that video stating that I thought that the sun had reported fake news because of what was reported by Sophie Luna. Well, come today, Daily Mail releases emails as well as the press release and the red line that was going back and forward. And, you know, at first I thought, well, how is it that they were able to ask for a FOIA request to get these emails? And then I thought, is it because this is a public school and we should be allowed to have information around events that happen with these public schools? You know, I'm not sure how this all came to be, but... In fact, it really did happen. And I want us now in this video to go through the red lines as well as those emails because it is bizarre that this couple went as far to do this. And I just want to highlight how far this couple will go to censor people to protect their so-called failing brand. Like these two literally need to be called out and put on blast for trying to violate First Amendment rights. And as you know, I am a big advocate of pushing back against people like this who want to take away people's freedoms, all because they do not like people's opinions that do not align with their own stupid mentality. Let's get into this and put this woman on blast. So grab yourself a nice cozy beverage and settle in. We have a lot of unpacking to do here. So let's get to it. First, let's begin with the time frame and how last minute these emails were in trying to get approvals. So from what the Daily Mail had published today, looks like these emails began around September 17th, 2021. And on those emails included Archwell Communications lead, Nicole Murphy. Then you had Danielle Filson, who was from the New York City Public School District. And then you have Dominique Samina, who is actually from Penguin Random House. So it begins here where it says, hi, both. And this is from Archwell. It was so nice meeting you both earlier today during the walkthrough. As discussed, I will be putting together a recap and can send your way any additions slash changes. I'm in back-to-backs for a couple of hours, but we'll have something later this afternoon. Let me know if there's anything I can do in the meantime. Thanks, Nicole Murphy from Archwell. So then responding back here from Dominique Samina, this is Penguin Random House, saying, amazing, thank you. I'm in a meeting until four, but we'll check in and do my best to review once you send ASAP. Danielle, can you share tent vendor recommendation? Also, my team is looking into all things, carpet, cushions, decor, more to come. So apparently Penguin Random House was willing to zhuzh up the place to help sell this stupid book, The Bench, and was looking into buying the luxuries that Megan was requesting. I'm surprised Megan didn't request a golden chair with Her Majesty written on it for this PR extravaganza. So fast forward now a couple days to September 20th, 2021, and an email coming from Toya Holness, who is, I guess, the head of their PR. And she writes, hi, Danielle. Thanks again for all your help over the last couple days. I'm following up on our conversation about bringing a production crew to 05M123 to capture footage of the visit. Below is a formal ask that you can share with the legal team for their sign-off and attached are the location and appearance releases for their review. Keep in mind, Toya is asking Danielle Filson from the New York School Department. And let's not forget that Toya left the Harkles suddenly last year. I believe it was due to all the bad press that they were getting, and my suspicion is that Megan fired her. So the actual release says... We request a permission to have a still photographer and a videographer with a producer allowed into the school to capture this special event this week. The dedicated photographer and film team are capturing archival content of Archwell events for future use, including potential digital and or production projects. 
We are looking forward to capture as much of the event as possible, which includes the students coming into the space, the book being read to the students with reactions from them, and any interactions before or after the reading. We will aim to be as low impact as possible at the event and will capture the event from a safe distance. Toy writes, I'm copying my colleague Chanel, who oversees all unscripted projects, on this email thread to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again, and see you tomorrow for the walkthrough. Toya. So now Chanel jumps in from Archwell and writes, Thank you for the introduction, Toya. Hi, Danielle. It's wonderful to meet you via email. Thank you for reviewing our filming requests. While we await your feedback, I wanted to make sure I understand the most efficient way for us to collect appearance releases. Toya mentioned there is a blanket release that all students and staff signed at the beginning of the year. Would that cover our shoot or would we need to get additional, more specific consent forms signed by all participants in the next two days? Best Chanel. So then Danielle from the New York School District responds back, Hi, would the content be used for promotional purposes of any kind? Unfortunately, our kids can't be featured in that kind of material. And then Chanel responds back, Hi, Danielle. While the content could be used in a future documentary, it is not intended to be promotional in nature. Hope that helps clarify Chanel. And then Chanel writes back again, Hi, Danielle. Following up here, if the concern is about filming the kids, then we could perhaps restrict our coverage of the event to only film the interaction slash meetings with teachers and other adults. We'd be happy to oblige. Bess, Chanel. Gosh, what a pain in the ass this woman is. So Chanel writes another email the next day on September 22nd, 2021. Hi, Danielle. I hear from my colleagues that the meet and greet with the principals and teachers... PRH staff and Graham Wyndham team will now occur inside a classroom. Would we be able to have our videographer film that moment since it will be a separate area from the interactions with the kids? Thank you, Chanel. Finally, Danielle Filson from the New York School District responds back saying, yes, I'm good with that as long as the teachers are cool with it. So now let's take a look at the appearance release that Archwell wanted the parents and the children to sign. And it says here, bullet number one, recordings. For good and valuable consideration, the receipt and sufficiency of which are hereby acknowledged, I authorize chapters, comma, LLC, producer, meaning bitch Markle, to take motion and still pictures of me and to record my voice, conversation, sounds, and actions, including any performance of any musical composition, reenactments, and or dramatizations or portrayal of any material during and in connection with my appearance for any legal purpose, including without limitation the purposes of editorial, advertising, and trade, and for use in connection connection with one or more untitled documentary projects and or archival and or digital use collectively the project and in connection with the project's advertisers, sponsors, exhibitors, and distributors, meaning we own you essentially and anything that you do within this period of the, the event. So if a kid farts in Megan's face, they own that and the soundbite with it. Bullet number two, ownership and usage rights. I hereby acknowledge that all of my actions and speech are subject to being recorded, and I understand and acknowledge that producer, aka bitch Meghan Markle, shall be the exclusive owner of the results and proceeds of any taping, meaning you get no money, honey. Taping, photography, and recordings that producer makes, whether such taping, photography, and or recordings occurred prior to, on, or after the date of, all such results and proceeds, taping, photography, and recordings here and after referred to as the material. I further agree that producer, aka Bitch Markle, may use my name, voice, likeness, and biographical information, collectively likeness, meaning Megan can own you, in and in connection with the project. I understand and agree that producer, aka Bitch Markle, is licensees and assigns will have the right throughout the universe in any and all media 
now known and hereafter devise in perpetuity to copyright, use, edit, dub, exhibit, advertise, promote, sell, publicize, license to others, and here's the word, exploit the material of any portion thereof, as well as my likeness in any manner. Like, who would be crazy to sign this? Like, who would want to know that Meghan Markle owns your image, your likeness, your voice? God, this woman should be locked up, for real. I understand and acknowledge that producer, aka bitch Meghan Markle, shall solely and exclusively own all now known and or hereafter existing rights of every kind and nature throughout the world in perpetuity and in all languages pertaining to the project, the material, and all elements therein and contents thereof for all now known and or hereafter existing uses, media, and forms, including without limitation all copyrights and renewals and extensions thereof, and in all media now known or here and after devised and all allied and all ancillary and subsidiary rights therein. For clarity, this appearance release, the appearance release, represents my express waiver of any and all moral rights I may have in connection with my appearance, and I hereby waive any right of inspection or approval of the material, my appearance, or the uses thereof. I understand and agree that producer, aka Bitch Markle, is not obligated to use the material in any way. In addition, in the event that any clip, footage, or photo in which I appear is used in or connection with the project, I hereby expressly consent to the use of my appearance and performance therein and acknowledge that I shall not receive any compensation in connection therewith. This is absolutely absurd, and I can't believe that the school district allowed these two grifters to invade their school in this manner and basically trample on people's rights by having them sign over their rights. Oh, it gets even better. Bullet number three says representations, warranties, and indemnity. I represent and warrant that I am over 18 years of age, or if under 18, my parent or legal guardian will sign below to signify consent on my behalf to the terms and conditions of this appearance release. Like, what parent in their right mind would sign over their children's rights? Oh, the ones that are looking to gain clout and fame. But I didn't see that this was happening at the Harlem school. In fact, I think many parents were pissed off that these two wanted to take over the rights of their children. And then it says, I have the right, power, and authority to grant the rights set forth herein, and any statements made by me during my appearance are true, and that neither my statements nor my appearance will violate or infringe upon the rights of any third party. I will defend, indemnify, and hold the release parties harmless for any and all such claims, actions, damages, losses, liabilities, costs, expenses, injuries, or causes of action, as well as those that in any way are caused by, arise out of, or result from any breach by me of any of the representations or warranties made by me in this appearance release. So essentially, while these two idiots were there exposing themselves, highly doubt that they took the COVID-19 shot themselves, exposed these kids to whatever germs and smelly smells that (laughs) Megan was bringing to the school. And let's say one of those kids did get sick as a result of being exposed by these two jerk-offs, then they wouldn't be held liable or responsible. Of course, Megan makes sure that she has all her bases covered. In bullet four, Megan goes a step further to ensure that she is protected from exploiting these kids. And it says, release of claims. To the maximum extent permitted by law, I agree that I will not sue producer, a.k.a. Bitch Markle, any distributor of the project or anyone else because I do not like the manner in which producer, a.k.a. Bitch Markle, or its licensees or assignees 
took or used the material for any cause of action based on any of the release claims as defined below. In addition, I understand that my participation here under is at my own risk, and I acknowledge that producer, Bitch Markle, is licensees and assigns shall not be liable for any harm or injury, whether personal to property or otherwise, including without limitation any risks that may arise directly or indirectly in connection with the novel coronavirus, commonly known as COVID-19. You see, I told you, these two literally have put these kids in harm's way and they want no responsibility for it. I guarantee you that even though they were pushing this COVID vaccine, you know that Markle at least didn't take the jab, which I may incur by participating in and being in close proximity to any activities connected with the project. To the maximum extent permitted by law, I, for myself and on behalf of my heirs, executors, agents, successors, and assigns, hereby release, hold harmless, and forever discharge producer, aka Bitch Markle, and any assignee, licensee, distributed station, platform, or network that exhibits the project, and each of their respective parents' subsidy and affiliated companies, and each of their own respective officers, directors, agents, representatives, and employees, collectively the released parties, from any and all claims, actions, damages, losses, liabilities, costs, expenses, injuries, or causes of action whatsoever, including without limitation attorney fees, and in a material, my presence at or travel to any location in connection with my participation here under the distribution or other exhibition of the materials, the advertisements and promotions of any of the foregoing on any legal theory whatsoever, including but not limited to personal injury, rights of privacy, publicity, or defamation, or whether arising directly or indirectly in connection with COVID-19 collectively release claims, other than the claims for physical injury caused directly by the gross negligence or willful misconduct of the release parties, otherwise known as Meghan and Harry's bad behavior. So not only are they taking away the rights of these kids and the parents, as well as their likeness and essentially owning them, they're free if they wanted to abuse these people in any way or manner they see fit for their production. Essentially, this is giving them a free pass to behave however they want, and these people can't do anything about it. I think this is sick, in my opinion. And the release form continues on a second page where bullet number five says remedies without limiting and foregoing. I hereby agree that my rights and remedies in the event of a breach by producer, AK Bitch Markle, or otherwise with respect to the material and the project here under shall be limited to monetary damages only, meaning that Megan can't go to jail. And I shall not have the right to terminate or rescind this appearance release or to enjoin or restrain the distribution exhibition or other exploitation of the project material or any content using the material or element thereof, whether or not used as advertising, promotion, publicity for any goods or services or otherwise produced in connection with the project or any brand's goods services. So essentially you can't profit off of this. Only Megan can. Number six, confidentiality, aka privacy. I agree that without the prior written approval of producer, a.k.a. Bitch Markle, I shall not discuss this appearance release material, the project itself, or my participation therein with any third party prior to the initial exhibition of the episode of the project in which I appear. Further, I agree that I shall not make any commercial use of the materials or project or the fact that producer may have utilized or mentioned my name, likeness, and or appearance. For example, and for the sake of clarity, I may not make disclosures prohibited here under via any social platform, website, or service, whether existing now or in the future. So this is the clause stating that you can't talk about me forever, and it has to be nice if you do. All aspects of the publicity and promotion for the project shall be at the producer's sole discretion. Neither I nor my representative shall directly or through any publicity representative or otherwise circulate, publish, and or otherwise disseminate any news story, article, book, 
or other publicity relating to producer, aka Bitch Markle, the project, my participation in the project, or the subject matter of this appearance release. I agree to not make negative, derogatory, or otherwise unfavorable statements about or otherwise denigrate or disparage any of the release parties, aka Bitch Markle. That's the gag order right there. I wonder how many parents signed off on this. I'm going to bet that it wasn't many, if that any at all, because literally there was no footage being used in the Netflix mockumentary of this event. Shame on any parents that signed this document. Sadly, there may be a few of the parents that have signed this because they probably saw Megan and Harry as opportunity for possibly to expose their child to something bigger, maybe help them in some way. Lo and behold, Megan was literally trying to own them. And I find that incredibly disgusting. And of course, they want to make it clear that they are not giving any type of compensation to use these people by putting in a clause in bullet number seven saying no payment. I agree that no sum shall be due to me for execution of this appearance release. This project is a non-guild production and is not subject to any collective bargaining agreement. And producer, aka Bitch Markle, shall not be obligated to pay me or any third party any sum whatsoever, regardless of the time or method of any future use of the results and proceeds here under, including without limitation by way of use fees, reuse fees, repeat fees, residuals, royalties, profits for so-called rental and lending rights pursuant to directive enabling or implementing legislation laws and regulations enacted by any nation throughout the world, including member nations of the European Union. Now, this is interesting, guys. Let's read that one more time. By way of use fees, reuse fees, repeat fees, residuals, royalties enacted by any nation throughout the world, including the member nations of the European Union or any other payments. So what exactly were they planning to do with this footage of these children? More propaganda to push in their exploitative initiatives? Look, I've received so much crap over the last couple of years by talking about how dangerous these two are and that these two literally are groomers and should be kept away from any of our kids for what they are pushing and how they are using people and exploiting them. This essentially is saying, you know what? You can sign all this over, but we're not going to pay you and we're going to do as we like because you're signing over your permission to do so. Quite frankly, what does the European Union have to do with this? Like, why is this in this release that is being pushed to American school kids? Answer me that question. Why is that in there? Parents, you need to say, Meghan and Harry, stay away from our kids. Stay far the F away. Now, this last part under bullet number eight, miscellaneous. Now, this last part under miscellaneous to me, is overboard. But then I'm thinking a little further into it, and there's something sinister going on. And it says, bullet number eight, I agree that producer, aka Bitch Markle, may assign this appearance release and any or all of its rights and obligations to any party or entity, and that all rights granted herein are freely transferable, meaning all the footage that they took of these kids in Harlem could be given to anyone and being that they mentioned the European Union, who's to say that this footage can't be transferred over to be used as some type of propaganda or worse yet, for the situation with the illegal trafficking of kids? You see where I'm going with this? These two are so sinister and disgusting that I wouldn't put it past them to do it in order to make a quick buck. Anyhow, it continues by saying that this appearance release is non-assignable by me and any purported assignment shall be null and void. This appearance release shall be governed by the laws of California without regard to any state's choice or conflict of law rules, and any disputes arising hereunder shall be adjudicated exclusively in the courts in Los Angeles, California, and the parties hereby irrevocably consent to jurisdiction and venue before such courts courts. So I'm guessing Megan learned her lesson by not being able to have her court case be moved over to California under the slap laws. And that's why Samantha has her court case happening in Florida. 
Anyhow, continuing on, this appearance release constitutes the entire understanding of the parties and replaces any and all former and contemporaneous agreements and understandings relating to the subject matter hereof. The headings of paragraphs and subsections in this appearance release are provided for convenience only and shall not affect its construction or interpretation. No waiver or modification of the terms hereof shall be valid unless in writing signed by the party to be charged and only to the extent therein set forth. This appearance release may be executed by original facsimile or electronic signatures and in counterparts, each of which will be deemed an original, but all of which together will constitute a single instrument. Now that you have seen the release form and how ridiculous it is, now take a look at the press release that was redlined by the New York City School District. Megan clearly was going there to promote herself and the bench, but New York City School District was not having it. And as you can see here, what is outlined in red is what the school wanted, and they wanted to scratch out the stupid book, The Bench. In addition, they also wanted to expose the initiatives that they were working on because Megan and Harry didn't give a shit to include that in there. They just cared about the bench and its inspiration and BS propaganda that they had been pushing. So as you can see here, this was part of the city's commitment to universal literacy and through the Department of Education's academic recovery plan. So really it was to promote students to be reading more books, not so much focusing on the bench. And in these email exchanges back and forth, the New York City District didn't think that it was appropriate and thought it was more of promotional, as we all know. It's unbelievable that this press release was two pages long. And of course, the New York City School Department was not having it. And they completely scrapped the entire paragraph about the bench. In this paragraph, Megan's team, or AK Megan, wanted to see about the bench on June 8th, 2021. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, published her first children's book, The Bench, about the special bond between father and son, as seen through a mother's eyes, inspired by her own husband and son. The Duchess of Sussex debut touchingly captures the evolving and expanding relationship between fathers and sons and reminds us the many ways that love can take shape and be expressed in modern family. How insensitive is that? Like a lot of these kids in this school are being raised by single parent mothers. And to put this in about father and son relationship, especially when her own relationship with her father has been completely canceled, is quite insensitive and an asshole move. Anyhow, evoking a deep sense of warmth, connection, and compassion, the bench gives readers a window into shared and enduring moments between a diverse group of fathers and sons. Like, she's so out of touch. Ugh! Moments of peace and reflection, trust and belief, discovery and learning, and lasting comfort. Like, honestly, I'm so glad that New York stood up in this moment. Anyway, it continues on, and they have Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, is a mother, wife, feminist, and activist, and liar, and manipulator. They forgot those two words. Through the nonprofit work of the Archwell Foundation, she and her husband are committed to activating compassion in communities across the world. She is the author of The Stench, a book about the special bond between father and son as seen through mother's eyes. Blah, blah, blah to be blah. She currently resides in her home state, California, with her family, two dogs, and a growing flock of rescued chickens. And of course, there's no mention of Prince Harry, who she owes everything to for having this platform. Meghan Markle, hands down, none of what she has said about being a humanitarian activist, whatever bullshit that she's put in here, Meghan Markle is the most vile human being on the face of this planet. And that's my opinion. She can go suck it for all I care. As you can see here in the final communication exchange between Toya Holness and Danielle from the New York City Education Department, they put here that... Toya was saying that she liked all the edits except the section, the bench section, meaning that like she didn't like that 
they took out the entire paragraph. And Danielle pushed back and said, yes, totally, just wanted to make it a bit less promotion-y, which exactly what it was. It was promoting Megan and not about the actual school. And Toya responds back, makes sense. Let us take a stab at incorporating those edits and come back with an updated version for your approval. Now, I'm not really sure what the final approval was. I'll have to go dig for that. But I'm glad that they pushed back slightly on this. They should have said no entirely to allowing this couple coming to the school. But Let's remember back in 2021, the word wasn't out about how Megan was the biggest con artist and fraud liar slash manipulator. So people were still giving them the time of day and thought maybe that they were being genuine and trying to help the community instead of trying to help only themselves. I'm appalled at seeing this release agreement that they were trying to get kids to sign or their parents to sign over the rights of these kids. I think that's truly disgusting, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? I mean, we all know Meghan Markle is a vile human being, but the lengths that this couple have gone through in order to own and control people is disturbing, in my opinion. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, you know, I will be back with more content. But until then, please be safe. And I will talk to you later. Bye. It was such a broad. <laughs>